Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy Tuesday. Okay, come on, get you walk, walking with Gigi this morning, wherever you are. If you're in Kenya, if you're in Sweden, if you're in Canada, right here in the States, and that's where a lot of you watch us from. Good morning. Thank you for watching us. This is a great morning to get a thousand, at least a thousand steps in. Hope everyone had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. If you were traveling, hope you had safe travels. If you're at home, hope you just had a wonderful time. Yesterday, we had a parade um, in Portsmouth, Virginia. It's the longest running parade in the whole country. It was a great parade. It rained at the end, but uh, the majority of the parade was over before it rained, but it was a wonderful uh, time. But uh, again, we're getting getting into the countdown. You know, the children are excited. They have a few more days left in school. It's just an exciting time. I have a gym nugget for you this morning, and I'm going to use the very same title that was in the Daily Bread. It's called Impromptu Praise. You say, what is the word impromptu? Impromptu, I-M-P-R-O-M-P-T-U. The word impromptu means made, done, or formed on the spur of the moment. When you just do things in the spur of the moment. Composed or uttered without previous preparation or rehearsal. You just do it. You just do it. And there were two men named Paul and Silas, Silas that's, that's lifted up impromptu praise. You know, um, before I get into the story, I have a dear colleague that I used to work with. We both retired and everything. And uh, she was she's of another uh, faith. I, I'll just say she's Catholic. And uh, at our school on Monday mornings, uh, we would get together and we would just pray. You know, we pray for, you know, that we have a successful week, that we know how to deal with our students as counselors and so forth back in our department there. And she was so amazed that we, you know, so freely prayed like that because, you know, she's used to reading the prayers at mass and so forth. And I, 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 I told her about um, Hebrews 4.16. I said, now, you know, just like uh, we don't have to go to the priests and everything for concession, confession we go straight to the Lord and you know what it says in Hebrews 4 16 let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need I said we can just come freely now because we would pray about everything we pray that we have a good week we pray about some of our students we would pray um, if somebody was sick she particularly liked how I said the word we were praying to Jehovah Rapha. And she asked me about those words. I even gave her a book about the different names of God. Jehovah Rapha, God our healer. But anyway, impromptu praise. I thank God that we can lift up impromptu praise. We don't have to be in a certain place. We don't have to do it a certain way. We don't have to rehearse because that's what Paul and Silas did. One, they found themselves in jail. They was thrown in jail, y'all, because when they came to this city, uh, this, this fortune teller heard them praying. And uh, to make a long story short, that, that fortune teller messed around and got saved um, through Paul. And um, when she got saved, she stopped telling fortunes, which meant that the money that she was generating that went to the city stopped and the city got mad because they money. <laughs> oh, Paul and Silas had messed with their money. And they threw Paul and Silas in jail, y'all. They threw them in jail. And they um they locked them up by their um, feet and everything. But you know, they said midnight. At midnight, let me read it, let me read it. That's like it says, it says at midnight, impromptu. They didn't have to rehearse anything. It says, at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations 
of the prison were shaken and immediately, immediately all the doors were open and everyone's bands were loose. Fred Hammond said at the midnight hour, God's gonna turn it around. He turned it around. When they lifted up impromptu praise, oh, I love that. He'll respond to impromptu praise. That's all I'm saying this morning. That's my gym nugget. You know, let's, let's lift up some impromptu praise and God is gonna turn that thing around. Oh my goodness. Subscribe to the Gym Nugget channel because if you subscribe, I know you're gonna tune in tonight for Church School Live at 7 p.m. Oh, the lesson we're into a new quarter, hope in the Lord. We're going to talk about glorious riches tonight. Glorious riches. Oh, my goodness. And don't forget, don't forget, we we'll still have the uh, Gem Children's Outreach Project. You can go to graceandtwineministries.com um, and um, make a donation of any amount and share your favorite Bible verse so I can share it right here on Walking 